So now I, I wanted to read a statement from the Iroquois Nationals as they seek to participate in the World Games, where they are ranked second in box lacrosse and third in field. And this is all part of the doctrine of discovery and how it, um, it gets into absolutely everything. It permeates everything, even a sport, right? I mean, it's, it's not a sport to us. It's a game to them, but it's a spiritual connection to us. Um, and so it's no accident that our participation is in jeopardy. Um, um, They're trying to eliminate us from this game. We fight constantly, the officials, the referees, and uh, now other teams. And I don't know if all of you have been able to see the game, um, the movie Spirit Game, Pride of a Nation, but if you haven't, I encourage you to do so. It's um, available on Amazon, and it kind of gives you um, a little insight into what these games mean to us, what this game, the power, um, it, it was given to us by our creator, and um, it's just so powerful. So I just want to read this statement to you briefly. Sorry, I can't hardly see it. So, some of you may be familiar with the current situation of the Iroquois Nationals and our fight to be included in the World Games of 2022. We are grateful to have strong support of the global lacrosse community in this journey. Native and non-Native alike have shared their voices to express their love of the Creator's Game and its important to our, importance to our culture and to the world. With the next World Games taking place on land where our ancestors once walked and played, it is more important than ever to honor and celebrate the roots of lacrosse. The world is crying out for peace and healing. There has never been a better time to include traditional lacrosse, our medicine game, in an event that is intended to foster international relationship, friendship, and community. Our players and supporters and staff continue to work tirelessly for justice, peace, and equity. And we ask for your support in realizing our dream to share our game with the world. So I always wonder, you know, um, is that why they want our, you know, they want to remove us from this sport? Like, is it to challenge our nationhood? Is it because they want our spot in this game? Um, do they not understand that, you know, we play this game for a greater purpose than just a physical sport, that it's, it's a spiritual game to us? And maybe that's intimidating. I'm not sure. But, you know, I always go back to this one quote from Oren Lyons. I think it's just so perfect right now. We always talk about the games that, that we have lost, like, you know, uh, playing in this international forum. You know, we only have about 450 guys to pick from. And the U.S., for example, has like 450,000. I mean, it's like the difference is incredible. And yet we still stand second and third. I mean, what does that say? So he always says, we have lost games. We've lost many games, but we have never been defeated. And I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> we're not going to be defeated this, defeated this time either. We're going to fight to make sure that we have a spot in these games and a spot in the Olympics as a nation, our peoples of who we are. Because I, for one, am sick and tired of, of this kind of acts of erasure. They're trying to, you know, erase us from history. Now they're trying to take us out of the sport that was given to us by our creator. And I'll be darned if I'm going to let that happen. So I'm asking you all to stand up with me, to stand up with us and fight this fight. Thank you. Sorry, I'm a little revved up.